What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In the first part of this episode, we're gonna be installing this CTS-3 monitor as well as an EGT sensor. And in the second part of this episode, we're gonna be monitoring our intake temperatures with the CTS-3 and we're gonna be comparing our aftermarket Sinister Diesel intake to the factory Kodiak intake that we just picked up. But before we get started, I wanted to thank all of you who have subscribed. We really appreciate the support. And to the 90% of you who watch our videos that haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free, it costs you nothing. It really helps support the channel. It will help me be able to talk Tiffany into allowing me to buy more parts for the Kodiak, which means more content for you guys. So please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is find a place to mount the monitor. We've been playing with some different spaces here. There's all these gauge pods that pop out, but this is like a 3M mount, and then it has some holes in it where you can screw it in. So we decided to go right here between the airbag shutoff and this light switch. It should clear the center console that we're eventually gonna do. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it mounted right here. And she's mounted. So now Chad is cramming himself <laughs> underneath. Yep. To try to get this cord fed through and out that hole. So this is the EGT gauge. There's actually a port on each of our manifolds. I think I'm gonna go to the passenger side port just because it's gonna be easier to come through the firewall. And the seat's coming out. Sometimes you gotta get in some weird positions and that's exactly why I wanted to put these seats in quick release because it makes working on this a lot easier. This, I think we thought was gonna be pretty simple and it seems like the simple stuff always ends up to be kind of ridiculous, whether it's finding the right tool or just little inconveniences. Um, but then the hard stuff ends up being simple. Something that should take five minutes. One little bolt. We're gonna try to heat the manifold up right here. I could always turn the truck on and run it, but. Oh. All for that. Okay, to avoid that from happening again, we're gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on. Make sure we don't get it on the seat because you guys know this stuff is messy. Doghouse, going back in. There's no chair in here. Nice. All right guys, before we switch the intake over, I'm gonna go ahead and take the truck for a drive. I wanna check the intake temperatures with the Sinister Diesel filter on, and then we're gonna check the intake temperatures with the factory and uh, see what the difference is. Alright guys, we're just cruising around on our test drive, still have the Sinister Diesel filter on. We're just kind of watching our intake and our EGTs and uh, we'll get it up to temperature and then we'll go home and install the factory intake and compare the two. And for the record, it's 75 degrees outside right now. Uh, 160 or so at idle, sitting at a light when the stagnant air was the highest temps we saw. Um, it comes down when we move, so let's go home and install the factory intake and compare the two. Okay, we gotta take the mass airflow sensor out. But. Can I just mention what it took to find all the pieces for this? We had to buy each piece individually, even all the hardware. This top piece was discontinued at Chevy. I had to find this piece on eBay and I think it's one of one in the country. As is everything we seem to need for the Kodiak. All right. 
right, factory intake is in. And that should line up nicely with that. Well, we just hopped on the highway and the intake temperatures haven't even hit 90 degrees on the highway and they were getting up to in the 130s other intake so we're gonna keep driving around see if they go up there at 84 right now all right guys we just got back from our test drives I am shocked that almost a 40 degree difference between the sinister diesel intake and the factory intake so if you have a Kodiak make sure you keep the factory intake on it do not change to an aftermarket cold air intake which actually ends up being a hot air intake and stay tuned for the next video that we're going to be putting out we're going to be putting an external oil cooler on this thing an oil temp sensor we're going to be doing some testing and checking our coolant temps our oil temps and once again thank you guys so much for being here and subscribing and following along hit that like button if you want to support us and we'll see you on the next video later guys